konnichiwa. Ni hao, namaste, hello, and kem cho. My name is Vipra Jetwa, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. One of my passions is learning new languages. There's a Japanese quote that explains, Gengo shiru koto wa kenja eno michi. This means that the knowledge of languages is the doorway to wisdom. Today, I'll share my journey, the lessons I've learned, and the benefits I've gained from being multilingual. I had a rough start. While newborns start uttering between 12 to 18 months, I couldn't muster a word till I was three. Even then, all I spoke was gibberish. I was just buzzing my lips and blabbing random noises. I'd built up a fake reality, thinking that by simply imitating the body language, tone and pitch of the adults around me, they would understand me. Here I was thinking, I'd mustered the one trait that has allowed the human species to thrive. Really though, nothing I said made sense. Looking back at my dad's wobbly home videos, I can just imagine how frustrating it would have been for my parents. But gradually, I learned other half-spoken words. Baby steps, but I was getting there. And by the age of five, I could correctly pronounce basic words. Hush. Finally. For the first time in my life, I could communicate my thoughts to others. This fed my curiosity to learn new languages. I first started with Mandarin at school. Learning a new language is absolute fire. So, I decided to pick up another one. I next explored Japanese using Duolingo. That's a game-like app, and its beeps and bops really kept me going. It was tough at first, but now I can have full conversations in Japanese too. Another language I learned is my mother tongue, Gujarati. Now, I've been born and brought up in the good old trail, where the waves crash, joeys jump, and reptiles run free in the outback. So naturally, I speak Aussie English. On the flip side, my cousins and family back in India speak more Gujarati. So it's tough having a conversation with them. You know what I mean. The blank faces and the awkward pauses when I don't understand them and they don't understand me. But for six years, I regularly attended Gujarati classes and I can now read, write and speak in this beautiful language. I can now vibe with my uncles and have fun banter with my cousins. And there's a different charm in my grandparents' faces when I speak in their language. Having such flexibility gives me access to their decades of experience. They tell me stories of my parents and how they were, too were mischievous, just like me. I can also understand and listen to katas from wise people like our Sadhguru Swamis. I love whipping on headphones and listening to Dr. Swami's encouraging words. Another way of exploring my heritage is by learning the ancient language of Sanskrit. It's the mother tongue of Indian languages like Hindi, Marathi, Odia, Bengali, Punjabi, and Gujarati, if you will. That makes it my grandmother tongue. My interest in Sanskrit developed during COVID when my Guru Mahan Swai Maharaj encouraged children across the globe to memorize Sanskrit verses by heart. I consistently practiced and managed to memorize 880 verses from the Satsang Diksha and Akshar Pushottam Siddhan Karikas. I love exploring, and so I wanted to learn what the verses actually meant. For that, I joined online Sanskrit classes as an extracurricular. After just two years, I can read and understand Shastras like the Bhagavad Gita in their original language. I can also understand the Vachanarut at a deeper level. Such insight gives me the confidence to share my knowledge with others like my friends. Now that is the power of languages. My Japanese and Mandarin help me connect with the world. My Gujarati helps me learn from the people I love and admire. And my Sanskrit allows me to understand and share values from our culture and scriptures. This has been my journey so far. From barely being able to speak a word to being able to speak five different languages. And I intend to continue it. Explore your heritage by learning your language. Who knows what you may discover about yourself.